This is turning into be a bit of a nightmare. Ah, just the sound, man. Show us the cube! Of our backpack. No backpacks, Linus. Where's the good purple? It's sandalwood, ha ha! A terrible video, Jack. Terrible video. This is way too raunchy. <laughs> oh, that is so good. This doesn't even make any sense. Remember when YouTuber merch was just t-shirts and stickers? Well, I've been noticing more and more products from YouTubers these days that go far beyond typical merch. And so today I wanted to celebrate that fact by making a tier list of all the YouTuber products from the channels I follow in the nerdy tech education space. Let's get undone. Gerald Undone. He's crazy. What's happening everybody? I'm Gerald Undone, and this is where the fun begins. So I opened this topic up on Twitter and my Discord server a while back, and took note of many of your suggestions for products to consider. However, I did make some criterial exclusions. One, we're talking about unique or quirky products, not merch. So no clothing, backpacks, coffee, or branded tchotchkes and trinkets. The product needs to have some broader utility. And secondly, I was looking for products that were new to market and not just some signature edition of something that previously existed, which means there will be no purple HDMI cables on this list. I also made the tough decision to cut subscription models, even though I think both Crunch Labs from Mark Rober and the Curiosity Box from Vsauce are terrific YouTuber products. Lastly, this video is in no way sponsored by any of these YouTubers, but my opinion is definitely biased as most of these creators are either my friends or I'm a fan of their work. This video does have an actual sponsor though, and that's Nebula and their partner CuriosityStream, and I'd love if you could listen to my pitch for them at the end of this video. All right, let's start ranking these goods. Okay, so I've just now come to realize that I don't actually know how to make a tier list. But I know someone who does. Okay, so I've got uh, Patch here from uh, Tier Zoo. I don't want to call them animal reviews, but they're kind of like animal reviews, but for gamers in a sense, right? Like yeah, kinda. Yeah, well, thanks, I'm glad you like them. My elevator pitch is that I say it's wildlife ecology through the lens of gaming. See, that sounds much more educational content than what I said, animal reviews. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what I need from you, Patch. I, how do I make a tier list? That's what I wanted. How do you make a tier list? So like, this is the template I use. I just have these multicolored bars in a little graphic that I made and- You did all this manually? I did do all this manually. I had you on because I thought you were going to tell me you go to tierlist.com or whatever and you create an account. I don't want to be making a PowerPoint presentation. Well, fair enough. I mean, there is tiermaker.com com or org i forget which one that is a way to kind of expedite the process i think my tier list graphics look a little snappier i think you do still have to like kind of download all the pictures you want and import them oh yeah i'm gonna have to make like little icons for everything aren't i this is turning into be a bit of a nightmare to be honest with you sometime later okay so it's a few days later I got a haircut, I've changed my studio around a little bit. A lot has happened since I decided to do this tier list, but I'm all set up now. I've got tier maker as per uh, tier zoo's recommendation set up here. I've got all the YouTuber faces for the products right down here. And I've randomized the order of them. So there's no, you know, no favoritism going on in the order here. I'll also be including a link to all of their products in the description. I just want to let you know, these are not going to be affiliate links. I don't make any money if you buy any of these products, but if you like them, you know, buy them, support the creator, whatever. Okay, so the first one, I have Veritasium's little logo here. That's because he has a product called Snatums, which uh, it's actually one of my favorite YouTuber products ever. This is the video he made back in 2015. They've been around for a little while, actually, and I just, I don't hear them talked about very much, but I think they're fantastic. Check this out. Imagine this is a hydrogen atom. This is another one. And then this is H2, the hydrogen molecule. You can break it apart, add an oxygen atom, and you make H2O, water. A carbon with four hydrogens, that is methane. And you can actually combine it with water to make methanol. These are SNATOMs, the Magnetic Molecular Modeling Kit. And I am Derek Muller, the creator of a YouTube channel called Veritasium, which has nearly three million subscribers. You got a lot more than three million subscribers now, but we're gonna like, 12.8. I just think it's so cool. First of all, it looks like it works extremely well and efficiently, and I like how you can build different molecules. I think it'd be a great educational tool, or if you got kids and you want to get them interested in chemistry, or maybe you just want to play with them yourself and make a little set dressing out of them or something. I, I just think this is a really great product. So let's start things off by, you know, setting the bar high. This is S tier, and this one was recommended to me a lot on Twitter. It's the Jerry Rig Knife. Ooh, it's on sale from 1995 down to 14.95. That's actually pretty cheap. You've got a few different color options. You've got clear, blue, red, metal. 
neon green, neon pink. They all look like the same price. So if you never watched a Jerry Big Everything video, he does like teardowns and stuff like that. I got one of his most recent videos here, the Samsung Z Flip, and he uses a utility knife and this is a durability test, so he's scratching it. The videos crawl up my skin, but they're fascinating to watch. The bottom of the phone has our improved. Ah, just the sound, man. I, I, I can't do it. I, I just can't. So you can use it for that, or I'm sure you could use the knife for you know other basic cuttery tasks. I'm told that we have a clip from Zach from Jerry Rig Everything himself pitching to me why his product should be placed in S tier. Let's take a look at that. It has come to my attention that there is one Gerald who would wish to assess the quality of my Jerry Rig Everything knives. I assume everything is in order to reach that top tier. I would hate if something were to come undone. Did, did he just threaten to do a murder on me? Is that what that was? If I don't give him an S tier, he's gonna, it's gonna murder me? I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not, I'm not scared of you, Zach. I really can't think of any reason not to give it an S tier other than the fact that he threatened me. So we're giving it an A. Take that, Jerry Brig, everything. Okay, next up, we got Sarah Renee Clark. This is a cool product. Uh, people recommended this one to me and I went and checked it and I thought it was really, really neat. If you've never seen any Sarah Renee Clark videos, it's, it's they're basically art videos and a big part of that obviously is color and color combinations and stuff. So she made this color cube, uh, which inside, so it's this nicely designed box and then a cube and then inside, uh, well, you know what? She's got her own little video here. Let's just click on that. To finally show you what I've spent months working on. And no, it's not a Rubik's Cube. It's so much more. For those that are having trouble, she's speaking Australian. But first, let me take you back to where this all started. Sarah, we don't got time for a history lesson. Just show us the cube. Show us the cube. It's every color palette from volume one and volume two as cards that you can hold in your hands. You can grab your favorites to compare, match the colors right up against whatever you're working on, or even clip them to your work to come back to later. Each card features the image and colors on the front for inspiration, and then features the colors again on the back. And I'm also told that Sarah sent in a clip for pitching to why she should be STL. Let's take a look at that. The color cube. It's not just a pretty cube. It's what's inside that counts. With this much color inspiration, surely this belongs in the S tier. What was that editing magic at the end where you made the S appear? Let's watch that again. This belongs in the S tier. Okay, I see how you did that. That's actually really clever. I'll bump you up the S for that. Good job, Sarah. Okay, next up, LTT. Okay, so if you didn't know, there's a new screwdriver. That, well, Linus Tech Tips has been talking about the screwdriver for like two years now, but it's finally out. They're finally selling it. Linus sent in a clip. Let's take a look at that. The LTT screwdriver is hands down the best screwdriver for working on everything from your gaming PC to your definitely necessary new smart light switches. We fine tuned everything from the hand feel to the force and sound of the ratchet. And it's got a built in bit holder to help you stay organized while you're working. It's even perfectly balanced as all things should be. But wait, there's more. It fits perfectly in this sleeve in the front pocket of our backpack. No backpacks, Linus. We talked about that already. I'm not letting you pitch your backpack. No backpacks, no merch, okay? But regarding the screwdriver, you did a pretty good job of explaining it there for me so I don't have to. It's a ratchety screwdriver with interchangeable bits. And there was a video from, is it Project Farm? Is that the name of the channel? The best ratcheting screwdriver. They tested against all the other ratcheting screwdrivers for all these different metrics. And at the end, it scored insanely well, so. You know, who am I to argue with this roundup of like 20 different screwdrivers? So good job, Linus, on the quality screwdriver. I noticed that you posted this image to Twitter where you had all these different color variants of the screwdriver talking about, you know, coming soon to crater near you. And none of these have the correct Gerald and Purple on them. There's this, you know, more pinky violet over here and then this almost like navy color. Where's the good purple, Linus? Yeah, I, I was gonna give you an S tier, but uh, I, I, I can't abide a non-purple variant. So we'll put you down in the D, I'm just kidding. We'll give you an A. All right, let's keep it in the computer space and jump over to Gamers Nexus. And they actually have quite a few cool products in the store, you know, coasters and a whole set of screwdrivers and other merch items. But what we're talking about is the Mod Mat, which is pretty cool. It's a big, 
you know, pad for working on computer stuff and other electronic stuff. It's anti-static. The design on the logo is fantastic. And then there's a bunch of really cool diagrams with pinouts and stuff. It's 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 a it's a great product, even a, a scale, uh, like a, a measuring scale on the bottom. I think I have a clip here from Steve over at Gamers Nexus. Let's take a look at that. I've been told I need to explain why the mod mat is deserving of S tier rank in a product hierarchy. Well, easy enough. The mod mat is an anti-static conductive work surface. And this means that it's easily testable. So we've put together this chart with actual numbers in it and actual data, and the numbers mean things to somebody somewhere. So as you can see by this chart, once again, clearly we've won here. Thanks for the S tier and back to you, Gerald. Okay, well, you can't, you can't argue with hard data. And also you can't argue with somebody as polite as Steve, who, you know, thanked me in advance for the S tier. So. He gets it. That's an S tier. That's an S tier product right there. Maybe I, I I think I'm easily bought by just, you know, politeness. Okay, next up we've got Marquez Brownlee. What product do you got for us, Marquez? I think we have a clip. Let's take a look. Why is the candle S tier, you ask? Well, look, there's a lot of YouTuber products out there and I can't really guarantee any of them are actually used by the creator on a daily basis, but I can guarantee this one has. The studio scent is definitely our studio scent because we use it every day in our studio. Therefore, our studio smells like the candle. It's perfect. Listen, Marquez, that's borderline. I, I said no branded tchotchkes and trinkets. That's borderline a trinket. Although, there is the utility aspect you brought up. So, it is a candle and it provides a scent. But of course, there's this chicken and the egg paradox here. Does, did the studio already have a smell? And then you found a way to distill it down into the candle. And then the candle smells like what the studio smelled like. So now if you buy the candle, if I buy the candle and burn it here, my studio will smell like your studio. Or does your studio smell like nothing and you got some candle? And if so, what is the scent of the candle that you got originally, which now you're burning in the studio to make your studio smell? Is that what's going on? There's got to be something to it. Let's check the product information here. More details. Matte black. Matte black is not a smell. Eco-friendly wooden wick. I like that. Gentle crackling noises of burns. Okay, sandalwood. It's sandalwood. Ha ha! There's no studio smell, just sandalwood. But I do like the meta aspect where, you know, even though it's the chicken and the egg is reversed, you can make your studio smell like Marquez's studio by getting his candle. It's a good product. Okay, we need we need a B tier product. And because Marquez is just so great at everything, we're gonna bring him down a notch and give him a B tier on the candle. We'll just say that this stands for the B in uh, MK B H D. So the next one is Becky and Chris's product, which goes perfectly with Marquez's product. Gerald has asked us why our product, the box of matches, should be ranked as the best product. Well, let me tell you, Gerald, first of all, we're gonna look at this minimalist design with a spot UV varnish. So high quality printing and, wait for it, they levitate. Look at that, instant replay slow motion. Now, you might think that's the best product. That's the only reason it's the best product, but wait now, it makes fire. Best product right here. Don't burn your house down. So this product makes a lot of sense. If you're not familiar with Becky and Chris, they have a YouTube channel where they focus a lot on home stuff and design as well as photography and video production. But as you can see, they're actually working on expanding an entire home accessory line for which this is just one product of that. So it fits in perfectly with them and design wise, they love their matte black and Actually, so does Marquez. Again, these products go really well together. Two matte black products. Sandalwood kind of works with other thing. You like that one, they work together. It's pretty cool. I would say adding Becky and Chris to the combo kind of elevates the pair of them to, to an S tier pair together. So if you buy them both, you can have yourself a good time. Okay, next up, Sarah Dici. Rhymes with peachy. Uh, Sarah recently launched a series of products under the name Lab 22. Let's see if we can find it here. They're on Kickstarter right now. Jeez, just raised like half a million Canadian. That's uh, pretty impressive, Sarah. Good job. Let's watch your little Kickstarter promo video here. Hey, my name is Sarah Dici. I'm a tech YouTuber and this, well actually, all of this is Lab 22. This is the iPad stand and your iPad snaps on magnetically. Okay, I get it. It stands for things. I am a sucker for magnets though, so that's pretty cool. And I also like, I like a good headphone stand as well. And I saw that you have one of those there. Now, obviously I haven't tested these, but I believe in Sarah. The main reason why I want to give her a B is just to balance out this tier list because it's too top loaded. Uh, 
well, fine. We'll, we'll give that a B and then we'll, we'll move Veritasium down to D, even though that's my favorite product. But there, it's starting to look a little bit better now. Yeah, that makes more sense. We've got uh, Jacques Slade sent in. He's got wipes. Uh, that sounds weird. Uh, these are for cleaning your sneakers. Jacques Slade does uh, sneaker reviews on his channel, so that makes perfect sense. And everybody got to keep their shoes clean. I think we got a clip here from Jacques. Let's take a look at what he had to say about it. Yo, what's up? My name is Jacques Slade, and these are my sneaker wipes. They're actually sneaker cleaners. They help you clean your sneakers when you're on the go, or when you're at home, or if you're in, at the store, or maybe at the, in the bathroom. I don't know, wherever it is that you clean your sneakers. And the reason I should be at the top of this list is, um, uh, I mean, it has my face on it, and I know I was only gonna have 10 seconds and, and you know, Gerald wanted me to keep it between 10 and 20 seconds and I might be over 20 seconds, but this is a Gerald video. And Gerald wouldn't cut me off. He would let me find- the That's gonna be C tier. Not because there's anything wrong with the product. I'm gonna buy those wipes. They're good wipes, but terrible video, Jacques. Terrible video. Yep. Also, we need to fill in the gap so we've got a little bit of some on every tier. Okay, next product is from Make Art Now. This is the Marble Orbit, which is a, a camera, device, motion control device for your camera. You can see here, your new camera assistant in stock and shipping worldwide. It looks like a robot's face. Let's take a look at the clip that Josh sent in. All right, buddy, thanks for the plug. You want the QVC pitch? The Orbit is a 360 degree trackless dolly. It's suspended from the ceiling. You put a camera on one end, the camera weight on the other. Turn it on here. We have a remote for it, or you can use the app. And because it's making a perfect circle, you only need to set focus to the absolute center and then everything is focused all the way around. We also have the new hand attachment. So after a job well done. Nice job, Orbit. High five, buddy. Woo. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Oh, that that high five alone is uh, worthy of a upgrade of the tier, the hand. That, is that hand attachment real, Josh? Or did you make it for this little clip? Um. The orbit's cool. Uh, Josh brought it here one time, and we—he's got like this like magnet plate to it, and you can, he was able to stick it to my ceiling with just magnets. We already talked about with Sarah how I like magnets. Okay, next up we've got Simone Yech. That's how Americans say. It. I feel like her name is actually like Simone Yech. Simone Yech. But what's cool about it is her her store is actually it's the like phonetic version of her name. And the product that we're going to talk about is actually in the logo, which is the Phillips head screwdriver thing which is the screw ring, which I think this is actually a pretty, pretty awesome product. So there's two versions of it. One of them is, we'll call it the receiving end, and one of them is the, the driver end, and you can get either the pointy part or the receptacle part of this screw ring. I wonder if you can get both and put them together. <laughs> the product makes sense from a brand perspective. If you've never watched any of Simone's videos before, she is like an inventor and does these, you know, these cool builds of things. So that involves tools and, you know, engineering aspects. So the this this ring makes a lot of sense. She also has other products on here, like this incomplete white puzzle, which we're not going to talk about because what kind of monster removes a piece from a puzzle and then sends it to you to solve? That is horrendous. I almost want to put her product on F tier just the fact that this even exists. So we're only gonna focus on the ring, which I think is actually quite cool. And I believe Simone sent in a clip. Let's take a look at that. So I think that the ring deserves to be S tier because um, screw you. I mean, that's what wearing the ring says. It says screw, screw you, but like in a nice way. I, I, I don't know how I feel about that. Just take your S and get out of here. Okay, next up, Peter McKinnon. Now, Peter McKinnon's got a lot of different products on his pirate thing and, you know, different merch type aspects. But like I said, we're not talking about merch or coffee or hats or bags or t-shirts or anything like that. We're talking about stuff like this, the PM camera tool. Now, that's some a little bit of utility, man. Sold out. All right, pack it up. I'm going home, boys. We'll get next time. I've actually got one here. Now, Pete did not send a video clip in, but he did send a note that apparently explains the product. Let's see what we got here. Uh, okay, so, I mean, I, Pete, I, I can't read any of this on the video, man. This is way too raunchy. So if I know Pete, he's probably got a cool little promo video of how this product works. Let's take a look here. Patent. Camera tool. You see, any job that you're doing, these things slide out the side and they lock up to the same side they slid out of. Removable, small bits just magnetized together is an SD card slot hidden right here in the handle scales. Okay, I just, I mean, Pete, I got my SD card in 
And no matter what I do, I just can't get this thing to take pictures, man. I don't know. Maybe it needs a firmware update or something, but as it stands, it's just... I mean, it, it's a really good multi-tool, but it's just not working as a camera whatsoever. And it, and it says right here on the website, it's a camera tool. So if you can get the camera working, I'll bump you up to S tier. But in the meantime... Okay, next up, one of the most suggested ones on Twitter was Unbox Therapy with their product, the Later Case, which I'm sure I don't need to explain to anybody who Unbox Therapy is or what phones are. I asked Lou to submit a clip telling me why his phone cases belong in S tier, but then we got off on some tirade and it ended up in an argument where we were debating the merits of purple against these limited edition crimson and willy blue, and I told him they weren't as good as purple, and then anyway, there's, no, there's not gonna be a clip from Lou. So because of Lou's insolence and his refusal to provide me with a purple phone case, Okay, next up we've got the SwitchPod. Now I actually have one of those here. This is one of the products that I've had pretty early on in their lifespan. I always thought it was a cool innovation because it kind of replaces those Joby Gorilla Pods, which everybody had and then everybody realized that they suck after a while for, at least for using them as a tripod. This is so much better. Uh, let's see, I think I have a clip here from the creators. I can think of a couple reasons why SwitchPod should be in the S tier. The first one is it's shaped like an S, clearly. And it also starts with an S, switch pod. All right, Caleb, you're looking kind of desperate here. You, you got any good reasons why I should be considering this product? I don't know, maybe Pat has more to say? That's the absolute convincer right there. Honestly, the nonsense with the Gorilla Pod wasn't even put on, that's how that thing works. And this just works so much easier. It really is like the perfect kind of demonstration. I don't see any reason not to give it an S tier. So good job, we'll give them an S. I don't think I'm completely happy with how this looks. Let's do a little bit of rearranging here. Veritasium will put back up to S, but Gamers Nexus is gonna have to come down. Did you guys see the actual data? At first I thought this was great that he's submitting data, and then I looked, this doesn't even make any sense. Just random numbers on the side, this is data that means stuff. This chart is completely unusable. Uh, what am I supposed to do with this? I, I, I expected better. So I'm gonna move them all the way down to D for bad data. Okay, this is looking a lot better, I think, and a lot more logical than what we had before. I should send this over to Patch and see what he thinks of our new tier list. I think he'll be quite impressed. This is the most nonsensical tier list I've ever seen. What even is this? Well, fine, but I, it's my first tier list, Patch. Get off my back. You're probably just upset because I didn't use some silhouette of an animal like you would. Here, fine, here's a silhouette for you. Put that in the spike column. Okay, last up on the list here is Nebula. Now Nebula is sort of a YouTuber product, but it's a collaborative effort of many YouTubers, including myself, to give us a platform where we can host our content ad-free without fear of YouTube restriction or demonetization. It's mostly educational or education-adjacent content, and I've recently been migrating my catalog over there and have a bunch of videos uploaded already. I really love the platform and highly recommend it. Watching your favorite creators on Nebula supports us directly, financially, and allows you to watch the content you enjoy without the ads of YouTube or the sponsor reads. In fact, this section of the video won't even be uploaded in Nebula, and this video likely would have been available on Nebula before it even hit YouTube. But the most cost-effective way to get Nebula isn't to subscribe to it directly, but instead by signing up for our partner service and the sponsor of today's video, Curiosity Stream, which also happens to be the best streaming service on the internet when it comes to documentaries and educational content. Because if you sign up for CuriosityStream, you get Nebula for free. And if you use the promo code UNDONE by going to curiositystream.com slash undone, or by just clicking the link in the description, you'll save an additional 26% and get both CuriosityStream and Nebula for just $14.79 for the whole year. And that bundle deal is not a trial. You'll keep Nebula for free for as long as you maintain your CuriosityStream subscription. So even if you were only going to use one of the services, it's cheaper to get both, and I'm certain that you'll find plenty of content to enjoy and learn from on both platforms. And how can you go wrong for just $15 yearly? That's a value that's truly deserving of S tier. All right, I'm done. When I, when I think about wiping things, um, mainly sneakers. The matches levitate. Oh, we're gonna put these back here because I've been shaking around. Take, take, take two. So he has a rule for the collab, no backpacks and he's gonna cut me off. That didn't go as well as I thought. And uh, I, I don't know why I'm laughing. That's not funny. This is very serious. The data's all real. So that's it. Yep. <laughs>